Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This time I'm going to make my review for my Dacia Duster at 100,000 kilometers. First of all, let's start with the exterior. This is how my Duster looks like at 100,000 kilometers and almost four years since I've used it. On the front, we have a different uh, front bumper or at least this side this one uh, was installed a year and a half ago when I installed the Grizzly winch that has 8500 uh, another problem I had recently on my uh, last off-road drive this front bumper as you can see it's not fitted perfectly and I have to take it down in order to fit it uh, as it should and for this process I have to take down the skid plate and some screws right and left and it's a tricky operation so I think I will do it in the future as you can see the front bumper has some serious scratches here and here all the way here on the side it looks like a car that did some serious off-roading in four years another prob problem I have is with this um, fender flare as you can see it does it's not uh, glued anymore as it should be these ones on the other hand are glued per perfectly and I'm using it almost as long as uh, my duster and I'm very pleased about it on the right side you will also have this problem if you buy a uh, diesel duster because here we have the fuel filter and in order to change it you, you have to take down this part and this part as well. Overall I'm very satisfied with the, the fender flares, with the doors, protections and I, and I seriously recommend you buy one, one set if you, if you buy a Dacia Duster. On the side we have some scratches of course and let me show you one problem that I have and I don't like I don't like it this is a, a rubber seal sealant that uh, in time managed to scratch the paint so hard that right now we have some rust on the door this thing also happens with the driver's door and of course we have another problem here and, an and another problem here on the rear doors because of this rubber sealant that is somehow too thick or too tough and as you can see here the paint is gone completely but because this sealant is working very well we don't see the rust coming out yet it is a bad thing I seriously don't like it especially the one on the front doors but that's something I can live with and I'm very curious how does your duster look like on that on the side we have some scratches some deep scratches here we have a uh, we have the paint that has a another scratch anyway 
if I want to sell the car, I think I should do a uh, serious paint work. I lost the cap for the towing hook. This is how the towing hook looks like. It has some rust on the interior. Here I have a uh, another uh, sign. I think I I think I hit a tree or something like that. Overall, I think my duster looks very good considering the places I went over the years. Right now, let's see the trunk because in the trunk I also had some problems and I'll start with this uh, with this uh, protection I don't know how to call it usually it should have a plastic u-shape accessory right here that should uh, fix it on this part Unfortunately, this that plastic uh, went off after after I took this part from the car a couple of times. On this side too, and uh, it will it will uh, make this thing move a little bit before my warranty expired i had to change the pistons that lift up the trunk right now they are working very good and i really hope that these ones will uh, work for a longer period of time than the previous ones that my duster had i do remember that before they completely broke it had some uh, moving on this on this side right now everything appears to be in order on this side of course i have the deepest scratches and the biggest problem problems with the paint you see i have one here i have one here another one very very deep i don't know if you can see here I must consider making some uh, serious paint work in the future. Now let me show you how the engine look, looks like at 100,000 kilometers. I must admit that a couple of days ago I washed it really nice. One thing I don't like, as you can see these four bolts are not the original ones from the car because when I installed the lift kit the shock absorbers with the lift kit I had to take down the engine so the, so the point is when you lift your car the drive shaft for the front wheels changes its angle so you have to lower the engine in order to uh, reach a better angle for the drive shaft so the drive shaft won't uh, damage prematurely this is the kit for lowering lowering the engine you basically have one two three four uh, or five bolts i don't i not i'm not sure and these are the spacers that come between this, the engine support and the engine and the thickness of the ball of the support is the total distance your engine is lowered the problem is as you can see all the bolts and the the space nurse are rusted so the car has 100,000 kilometers I really don't remember now uh, when was the time I made a uh, an oil change. I think it was around uh, 90,000 kilometers. Let me show you how the oil looks like. It does have a darker color 
and uh, and I can I cannot read the the oil uh, level because the car is not on a level ground and I just made a 30 kilometers journey from my house here we have the cables for the winch the winch is also can also be connected with the wired remote I only used the wired remote one time because the wireless remote is far more better to use here we have some uh, control panel for these LED lights I also have a LED roof bar on the top of my car on the roof but right now I don't use it because I install it in such a way so I can take it off the car if I'm not going off-roading and of course I have I have this I have this nice LED remote right now is disconnected and everything works fine really fine the battery is the one original on the car it still works fine even if I have all these electric accessories connected as you know at around 55,000 kilometers I've changed the timing belt and at around 70,000 kilometers I changed the full clutch kit apart from that there were no replacements under the hood whatsoever another problem I have is the wind with is with the windshield I think I will have to replace it soon while uh, I was off-roading I had the bad idea to stay behind a Nissan Patrol when the Patrol tried to move it projected some uh, ice on my windshield and it cracked so this is the exterior of my Dacia Duster at 100,000 kilometers overall I'm very satisfied with the car I'm using it daily I usually do around 2,000 kilometers per month and I think in this phase I will reach 150,000 kilometers within two years when the third generation is expected to come and I want to buy it that's it with the exterior now let me show you the interior of my duster at 100,000 kilometers this is how the interior the interior looks like the seats were protected by some cheap covers for around 40,000 kilometers I only have the headrest covers and overall I think the upholstery looks very good this is how the driver's seat looks like this one and if we look closer the armrest has the most wear signs here is very tough let me show you from this side we have some broken stitches but overall I like it more than the one you get on the on the facelift duster because it's much closer to the height of the place on the door where you rest your arm I use the cruise control very much almost every time I drive my car and as you can see the steering wheel the cruise control buttons are erased the nav system is not the one that came with the car it's a different navigation system you can buy it from Amazon I'm very pleased with it this is how the dashboard looks like some duster owners said that they've experienced some uh, cracking noises 
from the dashboard I didn't have any problems of some of this sort overall everything is in place everything looks okay this is how the passenger seat looks like it was also protected by uh, by a uh, by some covers for around 40,000 kilometers this is how the roof is, looks like here. here we have the microphone from the nav system you know? and here we have the gps antenna from the nav system another thing i want to show you i think i spoke about it in my last review these are the car the carpet mats i have and i use I'm very pleased with it. They are uh, thinner and uh, softer than the ones you get on your duster. And the problem with the ones, with the original ones, is that all this area is not protected. So all this area will not be protected with the original car mats, the original duster mats. All this side will be wet will be dirty and uh, the dirt will go under the under the mat this is how the carpet looks like in the areas that was not protected by the mats by the mat i think i have to make some uh, serious interior detailing and with that detailing it will look brand new if the front seats were covered with uh, some protection the back seat was not covered at all but i should uh, acknowledge the fact that i didn't use this back seat too much mostly i drive alone and there is no one in the back seat which is why they look very very good as I said on the exterior we have this problem that is originated by this car sealant this original sealant which is very thick and when you open and when you close the door the door goes uh, the sealant is scratching the paint another thing i've noticed and i don't and i can't explain why on this on the left side the door and the rear uh, wing or the rear side of the car are not perfectly aligned i don't know wh when or why this happened but I'm pretty sure that when I first got the car everything was in place I'm saying that because on the right side everything appears to be in order and they are perfectly aligned so this is my review for my duster at 100,000 kilometers it's a very nice number. I'm very pleased with the car so far. I don't like the fact that it has some rust on the interior of the doors, somewhere around here because of the rubber sealant, but that's it. I don't like it, but I can live with it. In the end, I want to say that right now I'm using the the Cooper Discoverer 84 S. Soon I'm going to change it to my uh, winter tires. I, I will use the winter tires one month or even two months depending on the, on the period the snow will fall and then I think I will 
buy another set of winter tires so my duster can do can perform well in off-road situations that's it for today guys in one of my next videos I am planning on taking my duster on the dyno because I'm, cu I'm curious how much horsepower does the engine have after 100,000 kilometers and in that video we will make some uh, acceleration test from 0 to 100, 100 kilometers per hour from 60 to 100 from 60 to 120 or we will see at that time that's it for today thank you for watching thank you for supporting me and hit the like button subscribe if you are not already subscribed and let's reach 100,000 subscribers thank you bye bye